Many billions of humans live on Earth. We all have needs that impact the planet and its ecosystems. We need food and water. We need shelter and clothing. We often desire many items of convenience. All of these needs and desires impact and usually damage our ecosystems. Most ecosystem damage caused by humans is through habitat loss. We cut down forests. We dig up soil and rock to get at coal and minerals. We divert and block streams and rivers for hydroelectric dams. Our requirements for more and more space damages ecosystems. We used to believe the Earth was so big and that small amounts of damage would not affect the planet. Now we understand ecosystems better. Environmental impact studies are often helpful and some habitat protection is taking place. But habitat loss is still a huge and growing factor in ecosystem destruction. The use of chemicals and the release of pollutants also damages ecosystems. Unfortunately, damage is often allowed to occur before harmful effects of chemicals show up in the ecosystems. Coincidentally, this often damages human health. As an example, plastics have been produced for about 70 years. Very little plastic is actually recycled, and large amounts of plastic now pollute land and oceans. Recent studies show cell-damaging microplastics are found in the blood of 80% of people tested. Many machines release pollutants into ecosystems. These include chemicals and exhaust from vehicles and factories. It can also include heat, sound, or other products that damage or disturb ecosystems. Humans use many chemicals to protect ourselves and crops from pests. These poisons kill pests, but also have unintended damaging effects on other living things in the ecosystem. Hunting and fishing can be both harmful and helpful to ecosystems. Humans have overhunted many species until they became extinct. This was done for food, for medicine, for jewelry, or even just for sport. We have overfished certain areas until there were no fish left to catch and put many fish populations in danger of disappearing forever. There are traditional forms of hunting and fishing as practiced by First Nations and others that respect nature and can actually help stabilize ecosystems. Some modern hunting and fishing organizations use scientific data and rules that actually help ecosystems. Resource extraction can do extreme damage to ecosystems. Take, for example, oil spills, which kill animals and poison the environment. As another example, consider the Alberta oil sands. The technology used to carry out this operation is amazing and is of great economic benefit to Albertans. However, the oil recovery process creates pollution, emits carbon dioxide contributing to climate change, and damages the local ecosystem. New extraction methods do less damage, but still have a negative effect on ecosystems. Those are just a few ways humans damage ecosystems. Consider researching other forms of ecosystem damage and what can be done to avoid them.